I just before Christmas found out what Elf on the Shelf is. Elf oh, on the shelf. I'm still, to be, oh, I've got to be honest, I'm still in the dark. Well, I, to me, it was like an American thing that I didn't want to emotionally invest in. It was too hard to understand. Christmas thing. Yeah, so Christmas American thing. Christmas thing. Okay, okay. And then my youngest daughter, surprise, surprise, found out what it was watching some American kid movie. Right. A Christmas movie. The Elf on the Shelf is this little guy that comes in a box. It comes from a 2005 children's picture book. And basically the, the premise is the elf sits around various places in the house and watches the kids' behavior and dobs on if they're little shits to Santa. Wow. Super creepy. <laughs> so, like, like, the, like a little so, doll, yeah, like a little elf doll. He's a doll. little elf doll. Look at him. He's got little uh, rosy cheeks. Oh, and yeah. He's quite he, camp. He's he a little look... punsy thing, isn't he? He's got <laughs> yeah. his knees up, a cross toe. He's just so. But he's a spy. He's a spy the, for Santa. The elf on the shelf <laughs> is a dead set spy. But it's like someone did call him a creepy, passive aggressive doll. And he is because he's sitting there smiling, but he's actually about to ruin your life. Yeah, because he's doing a dob on the kids <laughs> if they Santa. do something wrong. Yeah, and funny, actually, um, Pink, she got a letter from Willow, Pink the singer. Yeah. Um, my friend Pink. And Willow <laughs> had written a letter and just said, Can you send this to Santa? And the letter said, um, Santa, I'm very worried about Elf. He hasn't moved. In three days. <laughs> <laughs> and Pink just wrote parenting file because she forgot to move oh, around the house. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. Then right, I'm right. thinking, mate, kids have it so easy. They only get watched nowadays for two weeks by a doll. Yeah. I had 80s parents. Yeah. Right. What'd so they do to you? We had birds. What? We had birds. Oh, sa- every Santa, bird in the sky was Santa's Santa bird? had terrifying birds. Every bird, <laughs> everywhere. And my mum had ripped this out. And, okay. and no, just like one week, January 1. The birds were on. <laughs> the birds were on a watch for 12 months. Like that, these kids only get one month and that was it. So she launched a 12 month campaign on my, you using the birds. Mate, it was like, ah, oh, the bed, look, there's a, there's a bed. Mm. If I was outside and there was a magpie in a tree, there's a M, there's a bed. <laughs> Pull it in. But my friend ones up, she says, she told the kids, this is so brilliant, that the smoke detectors <laughs> in the house <laughs> have a direct link. To the North Pole. Wow, that is high tech. In the bedrooms of the kids. No. The smoke detectors. Oh. That is next level savvy. What a, what a, That's what a good, great way to make kids not trust smoke detectors. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really Brutal. conflicting message. <laughs> so every time they're in their bedrooms, like these kids, it's amazing. I love but then that doesn't the... work though if you then you, if you're outside of that venue because there's nothing worse that when when your little one starts playing up oh, in what public. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do? Well, you know how like if if you know we we're in a coffee shop the other day and, and little scout the two year old was like just running wild. I won't have it because I'm her number one fan. Well, she's, she's just gorgeous, but she I'm has obsessed. her limits. Like sometimes she falls over the line. She was like literally just pushing prams over and knocking coffees <laughs> yes! out of people's hands. Like she's just gone <laughs> she's it. nuts. She's falling down. She's, she's, at she's, at she's Michael <laughs> Douglas. And I'm on my own. <laughs> yeah. She's at it. I'm on my own. So I don't quite have the repertoire of skills in which that my wife does have yeah. to deal with these yeah. incidences because I'm not as match fit. Mm. So I've just pulled out the... You know Santa is listening. So Santa has oh. ears that can hear all the time. Kind of like God, re- he's always there. You, so so refer- no matter where you are, what you're doing, you've got something that you can pull out. So do you refer to, do you sort of look at the sky and talk to Santa then? Yeah, you go, Santa, are you there? Can you hear this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right <laughs> now? Right. It's no different to the premise of God, so I'm all for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Today FM Breakfast with M. Grant and Ed.